There's a new term alert. Wait, what should we do? <laughs> term alert, term alert. So we all know what a demisexual is. I honestly still barely know what that is. Okay, so demisexual. They require a deeper understanding before they can have sexual attraction. So demisexual is basically every girl. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, zero guys. Yeah. So basically, demisexual is like they got to get to know you first before they're sexually attracted to you. Uh-huh. So that's what demisexual is. Demi romantics. <laughs> I love the new terms. A demi ro- for a demi romantic. These aspects may include sex, but eventually are not limited to sex, as the word suggests. Demi romantics need to know more about a person before romantic interest can be established. So, I get it. But I've already looked over this. Yeah, I looked tell over me it too. Tell me what you think a demi romantic is. I have no idea. I honestly read this article twice. <laughs> And all I took away from it is that I took nothing away from it. Dude, it's a fucking brain. I can I can explain it to you. So, it's a mind fuck, but demi demisexual means for a girl. So think of a girl and she goes, "Before I fall in love with you, I can't have sex with you till I like feel like I'm falling in love with you, right?" Okay. For demi romantic, it means I Oh fuck, I lost it. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, no, nonsense. I got it. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. It's nonsense. So the, okay, I got it. It's easy to explain. Okay, so demi romant, demi sexual is I'm not gonna be able to. I can't have sex with you until I get to know you. Okay. Demi romantic. So every girl I can't I've ever fall, met. Demi romantic is I can't fall in love with you till I get to know you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they're sick. So. So yeah, but it is it is kind of that things for demi a girl like you're a few months in with a girl and she's like. um so do you love me? And you go, I'm so fucking demi romantic. <laughs> yeah, I'm demi. It is. It is literally. Basically, it's that. It's like I need to really get to know someone before I can fall. I can really fucking be romantic with them. But so they just I can still smash. No, but you can still smash. Still smash. So the girl comes in and she's uh, she's like setting up candles and she's trying to cuddle with you or something like that. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm a demi romantic. Easy. I we we can still smash. I, 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 but I can't have any romantic stuff with a girl until I get to know you very well. Don't okay. try to cuddle me or anything like that. Yeah. But if you want to fucking slob it. Yeah. If you want to. You want to. <laughs> if you want to smash, we can do that. <laughs> sex shame. You, you, no strings attached. Sex with more ease because they might have sexual feelings without desiring for sex to end in a rom com happy ending. So again, this is us. Like we bring a girl back and then we go. Just so you know, I'm demi romantic. So before you fucking, before we start fucking, just know this ain't gonna be no fucking rom com, <laughs> eh? You go. I don't know what you fucking know, but this right here, this ain't gonna be no fucking rom com. What's gonna be? I'm gonna fuck you, or you gonna get the fuck out? Because I'm a demi romantic. It is. I feel like it could be a good way to like, because if you put that in your bio and your demi romantic, like, your, your Tinder bio or whatever the fuck, and then the girl's like, "Oh, demi romantic," and then you're actually just like a total sleaze. You go, "What? I said I was fucking demi." I said I'm bitch. fucking demi romantic. You finish, you go, uh, "Call your Uber." <laughs> hey, it's time to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> put your shoes on. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh fuck. She tries to, you know, she lights up a cigarette in the bed and you go, oh, I'm, you can smoke a cigarette in 30 seconds because that's when you're, because <laughs> that's when you gotta go. That's when you're uh, Uber. Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm a demi romantic, so I can't do things like, you know, calling you Ubers. That's for something that I'm in love with. And you know, that would take me. I, I reserve those sort of things with girls that I'm in love with. I don't do, I don't just do anything with some hoe, you know, <laughs> and I'm demi romantic. So demi romantic is fucking great, dude. She goes. Understanding the difference lies in unlearning. So this is for people like you that can't wrap your mind, your fucking yeah, yeah. binary, uh, fucking bigoted heterosexual, brain bigoted brain around this. Yeah. Lies in unlearning the socialization that romantic and sexual feelings must be present in all scenarios. So I don't know if I, anyone okay. ever taught me that. Can I come out as demisexual? Pro- <laughs> Get ready for this, though. Yeah, you can. And so would I be LGBT whatever? They haven't really decided. There's some. Uh, there is some... Uh, there's no D in that. No, there's there's some people that think yes, some people that think no. You can't come out as a, or you can't come out, but they might not let you in. You can, you can try. <laughs> like if I make a big statement, I go, hey, everybody just just want everybody to know I'm demi romantic. Demi romantic, sorry, yeah, I'm demi romantic. 
I'm demi row, row, oh, romantic. Do, do it's you, a fantastic. <laughs> I slapped her on the rash. She said, I'm Mr. Row. Or, she slapped her on the rash. She said, I'm demi row, oh, row, <laughs> romantic. She said that the sexual feelings must be present in all scenarios. Probably another ploy from the patriarchy to slut shame women. Mm, I hate the patriarchy. <laughs> 